Sacre bleu! This is Okudaski of We Are Change the Drug here in Paris, France. And we are already seeing the headlines on Drudge saying that there will be chaos here in Paris, France after this election. That's going to be happening in just a few days. And to talk about the situation and what we're seeing on the ground and our predictions, I have two really great pragmatic journalists, Tim Poole and, of course, Marcus, who do really great, incredible work in the field. And we wanted to talk about what we're seeing here and the freaking chaos that unfolded here just a few days ago. Now, obviously, the election is pinning... Macron and Le Pen, and I wanted to talk to Tim specifically, since Tim just got here, he hasn't been really seeing everything on the ground, about what he thinks will happen, what he thinks will transpire, and who does he think will take this election. So, so here's the thing. I'm, I'm not, look, I'm not an expert on French politics. I don't live in France or anything like that. But what, we, what we're, we're hearing in the news is that Macron is centrist and Le Pen is far right. So my immediate prediction is then, this country is very, very left, right? It's a socialist country. They're, they have, they, they're, they're between a rock and a hard place. A centrist, they don't like him. Far right, even worse. So what I think is reluctant leftists will vote for Macron. The center will vote for Macron. And that leaves Le Pen only with the far right, which means, like we're seeing in the opinion polls, I think it is much more likely that Macron wins. Either way, everyone's going to be pissed because it's not what they want, but I don't think it'll be Le Pen. Yeah, we've seen Le Pen kind of try to distance herself from the National Front by stepping down um, as the chairman of that political party here. Uh, and it's also interesting seeing how the mainstream media is treating Le Pen and Macron. If you look at all the major newsstands here, they have Macron on all the front pages. And you could see a pure bias because of some of the issues that Le Pen kind of stands on, which are anti-establishment. But I think the political field is definitely being a little bit muddied. Um, and I think a lot of people are seeing Le Pen as this new kind of Trump personality here, even though she kind of disavowed Trump. I wanted to talk to Marcus about that because Marcus covered uh, a Le Pen rally and you were there on the ground seeing her, her supporters. And it's kind of interesting to get your perspective on what you think of her and what you saw on the ground from her major rally there. What I saw was enthusiasm the same level of enthusiasm that I saw when I was covering Trump. I, I haven't been to any of her rallies in the city, but I went to a rally in the north of France in a very, very, very rural part of France. I, I even had to climb a hay bale, three levels of hay bale to get a good shot of her. It reminded me of covering Trump in Iowa. The crowds unnecessarily enthusiastic. The people that were going there, you know, not not the richest of people, not the not not the people that you know might donate hundreds of thousands of dollars to a presidential candidate. These are salt of the earth people, and they are in, all incredibly enthusiastic for her. Yeah, the suburban rural areas kind of dominate her uh, support, with only five percent of the people in Paris who are going to be supporting her here in this city. So it's interesting to see that dynamic. We're going to find out the election results, but the poll numbers are already are coming out not in favor of her. So how do you see it going down? I think she'll lose. Um, but I spent literally every day of 2016 saying, yeah, the numbers are against Trump. I think he's going to lose. So I've been wrong before, and I probably will be wrong again. Uh, but with that being said, I, I realize that many people in Paris don't want to vote for Macron. They just don't like him. Uh, they'd rather turn in a blank piece of paper um, than either not vote or vote for him or vote for her. Um, they still want to vote. They just don't necessarily want to vote for him. And you know what? They can turn in a black piece of black paper. They can do that in France. Now, in the mainstream media, we've seen the polls obviously screwed in favor of Macron. That's what everyone here is predicting will win the presidential election. And it is very interesting to see the kind of changing political landscape since Macron is a conservative when it comes to economic issues and also liberal when it comes to social issues. And then we have Le Pen, who on social issues is a conservative, but also on uh, national foreign, foreign policy issues, she is more uh, kind of uh, not interventionist. So the political field has definitely been shifted in many different ways with Macron also being um, a part of uh, the Rothschilds banking. There's new information that still hasn't been confirmed yet, uh, but is looking into his offshore banking records, which apparently came out on 4chan. So there's a lot of different rumors, a lot of different news. I still think it's very unpredictable because just like we learned from, just like Marcus said, from the polls from the mainstream media in the United States, they're not always that accurate. Uh, it's going to be interesting regardless. I mean, did you bring your protest gear and coverage and ready? Because Yeah, but my protest gear is like a battery in a bag, right? So and a beanie. Yeah, two beanies. Look, they're, they're going to protest. They, they'll, they, they protest if someone bumps a bumper of a car, right? Like the littlest thing, and there's going to be firebombs and, and tear gas in the street here. So it's France. Come on. Yeah, 
They protest um, every day. We were just walking to get food and there was a protest there. So there's protests here every uh, single day and major ones. And uh, just like you were saying, you were here uh, the last time you were here. Like, w what did you see? Oh, man. Yeah. So a month and a half or so ago, I was walking. Uh, there's a big protest and there's a big black block contingent. They start throwing rocks at windows. They're smashing everything up. And then all of a sudden, the police start firing tear gas. They start throwing flashbang grenades. Nobody flinches. Nobody moves. They just keep walking down the street like nothing's happening. And the funniest thing was while this black block is throwing rocks at buses and the police are firing tear gas, there's this little old man just walking his bike right through the wall of tear gas. No, no flinch, nothing. Just like, yeah, just another old day in France. It's like nothing's happening. I, 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 and, and meanwhile, I'm like, oh, man, there's rocks flying. This is crazy. And everyone else is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, some of the protest coverage that we saw here was very intense. And uh, as people commented on some of my videos that uh, what's happening in pr uh, France makes uh, Berkeley look like a child uh, play field uh, <laughs> compared to what we're seeing here. And it is very intense. I mean, just, you know, on this YouTube channel, we saw people being, you know, firebombed, police officers being attacked. Uh, but this is nothing normal. But it is escalating in many different ways. Um, and to see those things that we saw on May Day here is definitely a sign of things to come with the political instability, with unemployment rising here in France, and also the increase of refugees. There is a lot of problems here that don't look like they will be solved since both the left and right are very disenfranchised and their political lines are being realigned and reshifted and the people on the streets both do not like Macron and do not like Le Pen. So whatever happens here, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. Definitely stay tuned to this YouTube channel. I'm gonna have the links to Tim's and Marcus's channels and social media also in the description below. Definitely check them out. They're great, pragmatic, real journalists who tell you like it is without any bull crap, which is very important. And if you like that, you have to support it uh, by going to Patreon and supporting real independent media. Thank you again so much for watching. Subscribe. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more coverage here coming from Paris, France, here on YouTube.com forward slash we are change.